Okay, yep, I didn't want to believe that the leaks were true, but apparently they are. We now have base form Goku and base form Vegeta as DLC characters for Dragon Ball Fighters. Now I know that Kefla was announced for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, but I wanted to talk about this instead, because I can smell the controversy from here, right? And I, I don't even need to smell it, I can see it all over Twitter and all on YouTube, people making rants about this and I just wanted to put my two cents into the mix. Now I'm gonna get a little ranty here myself. These characters should have been in the game from the get-go, or at the very least, this should be some sort of free update, but we have to pay for these characters. In my opinion, this is like taking Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super Saiyan Goku out of the game and making them DLC characters. If that were the case, like say the situation was reversed and Saiyan Saga Goku and Vegeta were in the base game and Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta were DLC characters, there would be outcry, mayhem, there would be fire in the streets. In addition to all that, you have to look at how this looks for future DLC in the game. Like imagine if we got First Form Cell as a DLC character. I don't want DLC like that in this game. Dragon Ball has always had such unique and interesting characters. Give me people like Master Roshi, Tapion, Pycon, Dispo, characters like that. Now it may seem like I'm bashing these characters and to be fair, I sort of am. But from the few scans that we got, these characters do look a little interesting. We do get Super Spirit Bomb and apparently Kaioken is an interesting mechanic in the game and the Gatlet Gun looks clean and also apparently Vegeta has some sort of transformation similar to Potential Unleashed. At the end of the day though, is it going to be awesome to see these characters and fighters? Yes, I really want to see the special ending between Goku and Vegeta times three Kaioken Kamehameha versus Gatlet Gun. It's gonna be awesome. I just wish again that this was either a free update or these characters were in the base game to begin with. Otherwise, if we got two completely different characters instead of these ones, I would be perfectly fine with that. But that is all I have to say about this. I'm still probably gonna play as these characters and make videos on them because that's just what I do. But let me know what you guys think about this situation and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.